Oh yeah. <clears throat> Thank y'all for y'all patience. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. Uh, sorry, I lost some, some signal before. But I really, like this whole entire thing, this is the last few minutes of Kanye breaking down the TMZ and the 400 years being a slavery. You watched the first video. Uh, slavery existed from uh, 1619 in America to 18, 1865, and that's about 246 years. Kanye West made the statement about uh, if you're still a slave for 400 years, it sounds like a choice. That was one of many hidden messages that he sent, and it was letting people know. He wasn't talking about physical slavery. He was talking about mental slavery, the slavery of the mind. And these next few statements he's going to talk about is being crazy and a visionary, um, and, and just some things that is on a lot of people's mind, but everybody can't talk about. I'm just excited because, like I said, I'm just going to break it down. I'm the Elijah Mindset Messiah. This, the, this is just my belief system, my perspective. Hope y'all enjoy. We have the resources for a peaceful world. Uh, uh, I, I believe that Kim Jong-un didn't believe that Obama was crazy enough to come at him. You know, sometimes you need some crazy to change something. Steve Jobs is crazy. Now we all on Steve Jobs' phones. They say Trump's crazy. They say I'm crazy. But I'm here to show love. And we're going to make it through. I know I disappointed you today, brother. And I know I disappointed the black community when I wore the hat. And I'm sorry for disappointing you. But like I just told J. Cole on the phone right now, it's a bigger plan. And I'm just doing what the universe told me. Now, I'm not drugged the f out, but I... And just saying that, like, yo, just listening to certain words, he said, I'm sorry, brother. He just went over this guy that he's sitting in front of. This is the guy that he went off on Kanye and told him he was disappointed in Kanye. And most African-American people are low income, low income people, like poverty stricken people. Most not even just the poverty stricken, like even African-American community that is famous. They come in at Kanye because he said this statement about it being a choice. They're all in their feelings. And if they would sit back and listen to what he's saying, it's something real. It's something real and it's bigger like he's a visionary that he wants to deliver something different like so, like he talked about Steve Jobs Steve Jobs visit the, did something different and they all thought he was crazy when he was talking about merging the phone and, 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 and the music devices and getting music devices a thousand songs into people's pockets so like literally this time that we're in and, and this video is, is so right on like he's following the universe, bro. Like I'm following the universe. That's the only person I answer to. My God, my Alpha, my Source, my Omega. Did Papa 911 yesterday before I got here to make sure I didn't prove everybody right. So I do think that pharmaceuticals can be extremely helpful. Everything in moderation, though. Kanye, we are going to take a break right now. We um we are back, and one of the reasons I wanted to do this um was forgetting about particular views issue before he, he went to the break the reason he went to the break because he's talking about big farm and pharmaceuticals like literally like yeah they're good in moderations they're good to help ease symptoms but they're not they're not the answer they're not the end-all be-all but you see how they cut that back right the reason I was really interested in doing this with Kanye is because he got me thinking about the notion of free thought which Honestly, on that level, I completely agree with him. I think free thought is almost dead in this country. That people are bullied into feeling a certain way, and if you don't believe what somebody else does, they will bully you and boycott you and try to kill you. And bam. So Sierra Savage, yo, she said, "Do you think slavery was a choice? Huh? Slavery is a choice right now." Like, I definitely think that slavery is a choice right now. Like, and, and even from a standpoint, like, there was people that was during slavery time that d chose not to be slaves. They decided to die than be a slave. There was people like that Harriet Tubman decided to lose her life and run than be a slave. What Kanye West is talking about like, like he's talking about free thought, like mental slavery. Like, he, because he's African American, he can't say that he's cool with somebody that may be a racist. Like, racism ain't never go anywhere. So, my to answer your question, do I think it was a choice in the past? Yeah, for some people that are weak-minded and whatever. But it was also a choice to people that got captured and choice to people that sold them off. But what I mean by right now, we're talking about mental slavery. Once people got to this country and was was torn down mentally and Jim Crow and all that, like. Like, yo, no, like it, they, they captured more than just the people. They captured the soul, they captured the mind, they captured the vessel, and they had control. And this is what he's saying. 
It's not a choice anymore. 400 years, slavery ended in 1865, technically. The physical slaveries with the shackles in the plantations. But he said 400 years, if slavery never ended, 2018 would meet 399 years. Like, that's people are stuck on the, the fact that it's a choice. So, like, I'm just the messenger interpreting the messages. So I hope that makes sense. That's what I was connecting with, not specific issues, but you tell us what the root of all of this is. What are we talking about? Are we talking about free thought, free love? What is it? It's free love. It's the spirit. You know, you had, in the office, you had Tupac and John Lennon on the wall. It's, I don't want to be the third one, but I'm willing to be the third one for free love on that wall. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, I hear what you're saying. Yo, like, like, for him to even say that and to ask them, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't care. I'm not fearful of death. Free love is real. Love conquers all. It's real. And if we're still focused on this, the fact that we were slaves and that they did this and they did this and they did this, you can't focus on love. You can't focus on faith and fear at the same time. Love and hate. This, <laughs> you can't. Hey, I love... Dr. Jan Adams that performed surgery, my, my mother's final surgery. People don't want to accept forgiveness and love. Like even Harvey, you said you can't love everyone when we talked about the uh, Jan Adams. And I, uh, and I believe that. And But does God want you to love everyone? I, mm. Well, first of all, do, do, you, believe in, do you believe in God? Do you yes, in but I don't now? necessarily think, I, I know people say that, Kanye. I, I, like, this is for all my religious people out there. Like, I'm a firm believer of the man upstairs and the man inside, G-O-D, my higher self, the higher caller. So, is it safe to assume that you don't think slavery is in other countries currently? Oh, no, it's not safe to say that, Sierra. Um, let me finish this thought real quick. Uh, like, I, like he, he brought it to the attentions of, of, do you think God wants people to love? Is love thy neighbor as you love thyself? I know that there's still slavery, Sierra, in other countries. And, and, and from a mindset, if you're still in slavery in this age, in this age and time, if you're still in slavery, mentally slave, physically slave, you're in type of slavery or bondage, like it's, it's a, it has a lot to do with the, the, your, your economy, your, your current environment, your culture, what resources you have access to. But if you are an American, and you're living in capitalistic America, and you have a nine to five in America, like if, like if you have these things and you're complaining about and lack of jobs, or if you claim complaining about like not enough opportunity, or if you complaining about, they're like just complaining about the cops, just complaining about the black on black, like yo, if you're just whining and complaining, you're mentally enslaved. But there's other, I know that there's physical slavery in other countries. I actually know that there's other countries that own different islands, so like, yeah, I, t I hope that answered your question. But he's bringing up to the fact to this this the, the interviewer, the head guy. He's bringing up to him that like, yo, do you believe in God? Like, do you think that God loves this person or that person? Does God love this person? But like, yo, he's talking about free love. It's real. Love is a very powerful emotion. In this interview that he had, he was talking about love the entire time. The love that he had, and he's Kanye's talking about the love of the doctor that killed his mom. Like, killed his mom prematurely. Surely. And the thing about it is most people are like, yo, I'll never forgive that person that killed this person or that person. But that, to be able to to love somebody, mm -hmm. to love thy neighbor as you love thyself, to be able to love your enemy, to be able to love that deep and that free, it says, it says that you're in emotional control. Uh, gotcha. You answered my question. Thank you. I was able to answer your question, Sierra. I don't, know, I, I don't know where that comes from. If you start thinking about love and start feeling love and thinking about forgiveness, then you can overcome things. I was able to talk to Kanye last week mm -hmm. at some length about this. And it really, and so honestly, this is what inspired me, that I think you were right, that we are, we are a country of intolerance right now. And as long as we are so intolerant that we try to kill people who disagree with us, we are going to destroy ourselves. And you got me thinking about this, and, I, and, and, and I've been obsessed with it. I think about it in the pool, I think about it at the gym, I think about it when I'm walking, and I think about it at work. And I've been thinking about this, and I think it's a really valid point. That said, there are people out there who still want to hurt you and the question all right before we go into the hurting right 
you saw how passionate the the reporter was, the interviewer was. He got me thinking about it. He kept saying thinking, thinking, thinking about it. And look, he got Kanye and the young lady to smile. So he's getting them connected. He's utilizing words. Like words are very powerful. We're talking about, like if you keep repeating that we was in slavery and you keep repeating that they're coming after you, keep repeating that they're going to kill us. If you keep repeating that narrative, that's what you're going to attract in this world. Like understanding thoughts and frequencies in his vessels. Like Kanye have a level of understanding of the conscious mind and the subconscious mind that most people don't. Now he said he's being led subconsciously. When, and, and when I hear that, that means he has a direct line to the universal source, which is the infinite eye, which is the Alpha and the Omega, which is the 90% of us that non-physically is seen. So like, like he was able to implant a seed into this man's head and have him thinking about something that he didn't think about, that he, everyone should think about on a regular basis about, I should love thy neighbor as you love myself. But he said all of that compliment stuff to bring everybody back attention, to kind of come to chop the, 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 the um, to chop the horse at his knees to like like I said it's all about communication and words and wordplay is everything that's why people say words wordplay can be witchcraft or it can be healing so like ask this is my opinion just pay attention to the signs is how do you break the wall down and how do you how do you come together right. but I don't think it's necessarily by saying I love you right and, that, and that's fair that's that's absolutely fair okay. I, I and let's we have free thought I disagree I think love conquers all I think love I know not think I know from my bottom of my gut and my soul and my spirit and my subconscious that love is the strongest force in the universe and right now we need love we need the moment when North Korea and South Korea connect. We need the moment when we go down to what's Charlottesville and we go down and visit, go to those, go to those houses. We need to break down race. We talk about race so much, we don't even talk about class. I want to talk about class for a second. Um, there's a class war uh, happening right now too. And the class war might be, the class war is uh, one of the all right, so, yo, like he has to think about everything that he says because there's things that he can say and there's things that he can't say. And it's not that he can't say it because he doesn't want to. It's that they're not ready for it. Like, there's a process that's going on. Like, there's a shift that's happening. And I share all of these things. He brings up the class war. Like, I came from nothing. Like, I came from the hood, poverty. And I've, I've made it to middle class. And I made it to middle upper class. And I've actually had, men, I'm mentored by very wealthy people. Like, so, like, like millionaires, that, that, that they're mentored by, by multi-millionaires or billionaires. So, I share these things that this class war is way more important than the race war that everyone is so butthurt over. Like, literally, most people are butthurt over black and white. And black and white don't even matter when you have dollars in any capitalistic society so like literally the distraction that is there to have people distracted about race in the time that there is major shift happening when you can be focused on the wealth that's being built like trump is making opportunities for businesses and um loopholes that were in place before that was holding uh, entrepreneurs and small businesses down they're being destroyed but you don't get to see or hear about those positive things that he's doing for me and you that live in capitalistic america this is where the choice come into play because me and you live in capitalistic america uh dr george c frazier who happens to be an amazing philanthropist author uh networker he does the power network uh conference every year where he pulls in all these black people right for all wealthy title driven black people and uh, I got to share the stage with him a couple years ago and uh, he, 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 he dropped something very very profound on me and, and the thing about it is he he said he said that we have enough wealth in the african-american community in the United States alone not talking about every country in the global economy just the United States alone we have enough wealth running through our communities to be the 16th wealthiest country in the world the 16th wealthiest country in the world and that we as African Americans are looking for a key to an unlocked door. So, so I want y'all to sit on that and marinate on that. Like this class thing is way more realer than a race thing, but underneath all of that, 
the spiritual war that's going on like yo you if you're stuck on someone else's programming or someone else's video game and they're telling you that you have to go through a deity that you can't even see in order to get to a place that you need to be in order to receive the level ups and the elevations that's happening right now Kanye's doing what Kanye's doing and he's pointing out the things that the John Lennon's and the Tupac's because there's a transition happening outside of hip-hop outside of race that is a global universal transition that are happening like I know that Kanye is a, a, a ascended master i understand that i know that he's a messiah because he's talking about something the same thing that jesus did yeshua did he's talking about unconditional love and through the turmoil or the storm loving through the storm is the premise of this entire thing so if you think that 400 years of slavery is a choice and you're mad at kanye because he loves you bruh I need you to love yourself enough to become not a mental slave or become a slave to yourself hmm because that's where you find God reasons why uh, Trump won because Obama was so high class that it stopped speaking to the middle and the lower class he's so classy and to break the class system we have to start by loving ourselves because what you say to somebody is a reflection of how you feel about yourself when you put that energy in the world I love myself what you are seeing is actually this is the most confident I've been since my mom passed we're gonna talk about something that I know you said you had this conversation with Kanye I'm obviously personally very interested in this the, the concept of that black men have to be perfect at all times it was just a point about uh, Hollywood and the media perception of uh, black men this this perfect idea of superhero uh, with uh, Obama or Michael Jordan I want to show people that it's okay to screw up and you still can make it through things we are out of time but I, I gotta yeah. say one Listen, it's okay to fail. He said that it was okay to fail. It's okay to screw up. But it was something that he said before that I got to rewind it because I don't think. The reasons I wanted to do. People that it's okay to screw up. Yeah, not that. Perfect idea. Be perfect at all times. Something that I know you said you had this. Nope. In the world. I love myself. What you are seeing is actually, this is the most confident I've been since my mom passed. We're going right, to talk. Right there. Right there, that part. I, was, I knew it was something I wanted to key in on. The most confident he'd been since his mom passed. He had looked around and he's like, yo, I love myself. What you're seeing is love right now. It's unconditional love. He was talking about when most people are talking to you, they're giving you a mirror image of themselves and they give you a mirror image of themselves based off of their belief system. May it be limited or not limited based off of their backgrounds and understanding their, their mindset. And so like at the end of the day, a lot of people that are upset with Kanye at this point in time are upset with him because he's broken some belief system that a lot of us are still Still suffering from and the confidence that he displayed here and the in control of his emotions throughout the entire time because they kept coming after him he's a he's a master um, of communication and, and like I said it's like you have to understand that there is a shift happening and then you do have something special inside of you and you do have to love thyself as you love thy neighbor and that is the only way to get to your your God like the only way just my opinion it's about something that I know you said you about I, I gotta say, one of the reasons I wanted to do this, people can disagree with, you know, lots of things in this world, and, you know, I don't agree with everything you say for sure, but what I love, what I love, <laughs> is the idea of talking about something that is really lost in this country, Which and I know love. you say free love, and that's important, I know, but free thought to me is hugely important, and I feel do, like do, we've do lost you it. Do you believe in love? I do believe in love. Do you believe love can conquer all? I believe love can help. Just be honest. I believe be honest. I said it in this room. I don't believe love can help, but I don't think it can conquer. I think I 
think reasoning, I think the brain is as important as the heart. And I think that until we allow our brains to open up and use the capacity that we have and not feel straightjacketed, you're never gonna you're never gonna conquer this world with a heart. In my view, you are a hugely important person and your voice has to be heard. And your voice has to be heard. Thank you for the time. Thanks a lot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So they said the mind has to be activated and accessed. The subconscious mind is a emotional mind. And anything that is placed in the subconscious mind operates automatically. And this is by studies done by Dr. Karl Marx. Um, psycho Psychosomatics is the, the book that he wrote. But we have the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, and then the super conscious mind. Or that's like the universal mind. Our conscious mind has the ability to accept or reject things. And between the ages of zero and seven, we've never had the ability to uh, have a conscious mind. It's being developed. So zero and seven, like there's no accept or reject. So our environment plays a major factor. Uh, fast forward in this day and age with technology, we have these mobile devices, we have laptops, we have computers, and they're everywhere. And we have the ability to access so much information that we're receiving more positive and negative information in one day than we did in an entire lifetime. That information, what it does is it programs our subconscious mind, which in turn programs the rest of our body. So if you're not intentionally being intentional about everything that you're doing, somebody's being intentional with your thoughts, somebody's being intentional with your emotions, somebody's being intentional with your being. So I share this and I, I, I'm a, I, I don't support everything that any and everyone does. I don't support any man 100%, but I can see greatness and I can peep greatness uh, from a standpoint of, understanding the universe and the vibrations and the conscious mind and the subconscious mind that that interviewer made a statement that you have to use your mind to unlock everything you don't think that the heart will do it once you master your heart and your emotions you can think about anything because you control control of the energy around you so my name is elijah mindset morgana sorry about the chips i was i'm super hungry about to go eat but uh tune in for more videos where i'll be breaking down the knowledge and wisdom understanding from the weirdos, right? <laughs> Hi, my name is what? What my name is? I said, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Ta 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 Ta, Jehovah Jireh, Lord, I provider, filling in the gap, filling in the gap, helping us get higher. Yeah.